Progressive Liberal Party candidate for Fort Charlotte, Alfred Sears, says a country's economic model that focuses on tourism and financial services has reached a point of diminishing returns and Bahamian entrepreneurship, ownership and joint ventures with foreign direct investors have to be better incentivized. Sears told Rotarians the current economic model driven by foreign direct investment must be refined. He noted that the Atlantis Resort receives a $5 million subsidy from the Ministry of Tourism annually. There is no Bahamian business that we provide proportionately any type of such subsidization. In other words, an incentive is to get you here. Once you're here and you are running a profitable enterprise, then that incentive should be targeted to somebody else to expand the market. But what we do is we subsidize foreign direct investment. Sears says the fastest growing sector in tourism, the second home market where owners are taking advantage of family island exemptions and building homes they use as hotels. He says those unregulated homes are marketed internationally where owners pay no business license fees, hotel room taxes, and make no national insurance contributions because they hire seasonal staff. Sears said family island hotel operators are unable to compete claiming they cannot get their properties on the Airbnb network. So what we see then is we see a model of economic development. We have banks in the Bahamas, but we have no merchant bank. If you go to Jamaica, if you go to other Caribbean countries, in addition to the commercial banks, you have merchant banks, banks which specialize in providing venture capital to entrepreneurs. In the Bahamas, it is easier to get a consumer loan, and you can borrow more money to buy a car or buy a house than you can borrow to fund an enterprise.